Today I'm going to take you to Istanbul, the city of two continents. With Europe at my back and Asia in front of me, this is the Bosphorus, the slender strait that gracefully separates the two continents. Living between Europe and Asia is a part of daily life here in Istanbul. You can literally do everything between the two continents. Every day you could pass from one continent to the other on a ferry like this one while feeding the seagulls and having a hot cup of tea. Imagine if that was your daily commute and you wouldn't even need a passport to do it. If you want to escape the heat, you can even jump into the Bosphorus or a pool between two continents. And if you're a marathon runner, you can run from Europe to Asia in the Eurasia Marathon. You can even stand on the legendary island of the Maiden's Tower, right in between Europe and Asia. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of two continents. Today I'm going to take you on one of the greatest shopping experiences in the world. Did you know the Grand Bazaar is one of the oldest shopping malls in the world and still attracts over 250,000 people every day? The Grand Bazaar is big, very big. Imagine 61 covered streets, over 3,000 shops. It's so easy to get lost here and makes it the largest mall in the world. What sets the Grand Bazaar really apart is that these stores are not chains. They are authentic craft stores, some of them dating back 500 years. The Grand Bazaar has a mystical, almost magical atmosphere. It's like going time traveling. The thing I like the most is that everywhere you go, you're offered a glass of delicious tea. Tea is such an important part of Turkish culture. It symbolizes their hospitality, and Turks are very friendly people. Celebrities always visit the Grand Bazaar when they're in Istanbul. Even James Bond visited Kapila Charsha. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of the Grand Bazaar. I am going to take you on a magical journey. Today, we are visiting Cappadocia. This entire area was once covered with volcanic ash. Over time, the ash eroded and these large, breathtaking fairy chimneys formed.
These fairy chimneys were once used as dwellings, churches, and even castles. After being expelled from Jerusalem, the early Christians were looking for a secure place. They sought refuge in the underground cities of Cappadocia to hide from the Romans and establish the first Christian colonies in the area. Some of the fairy chimneys are still inhabited today. You can even rent a tastefully renovated cave house as a condo or a hotel. If you like hiking, biking, and other outdoor activities, you're gonna love Cappadocia. There are so many trails surrounded by vineyards and gorgeous scenery. Of course, the best way to admire the magic of Cappadocia is by hot air balloon. From a thousand feet, it looks more like Mars than Earth. Finally, don't miss the underground cities. Some of them go 18 floors underground. The feeling in here is magical and bewildering. There are tunnels, churches, and enough room for 30,000 people. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Cappadocia. Did you know that Rumi produced the majority of his works in Turkey? Today I'm going to take you on a spiritual journey. We are visiting Rumi. The journey of Rumi spreads across 4,000 kilometers, but it is here in Konya where he spent the last 45 years of his life, built his philosophy, and was laid to his final resting place. Rumi's tomb in Konya is a mystical place that offers unique insight into Sufism. Its turquoise dome, symbolic gates, and courtyards continue to attract people from all around the world. His significance transcends national, religious, and ethnic borders, and he is one of the top-selling poets in the United States. Rumi introduced poetic, musical, meditative rituals as a form of worship. Known as the Sema, a dervish whirls in meditation with his right arm stretched to the heavens to receive God's goodness, while his left arm stretches down to earth in service of God's creation. By spinning, they imitate the universe and aim to reach the source of all perfection. This hypnotic ceremony has been proclaimed by UNESCO to be one of the masterpieces of intangible heritage of humanity. Today, I'm going to take you to paradise. We're going to Antalya, the hottest spot of the Turkish Riviera. Soaring mountains, palm trees, year-long warm climate, and endless Mediterranean Sea. No wonder Antalya is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Oh, yeah! 
For sun lovers, Antalya is a magnetic attraction with over 300 days of sun a year. In Turkey, there are 397 blue flag beaches. 197 of them are right here in Antalya. Antalya is world famous for its top-notch resorts where you can enjoy an unforgettable holiday with your friends and family. But there is much more to Antalya than sun, sea and beach. Here you can see the eternal flaming rock at Olympos, see a concert at a 2,000 year old amphitheater, play golf and even enjoy these beautiful waterfalls. You can stay at a charming villa in Antalya's well-preserved historical district, wander its lovely narrow streets, visit the world-famous fluted minaret, and shop for unique crafts at the Cover Bazaar. <music> Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Antalya. Today, I'm going to take you to Pamukkale, a true wonder of planet Earth. When you approach from a distance, you might think Pamukkale is a snowy hill or even a glacier. But look closer and you will notice a true wonder of Mother Nature. Pamukkale's waters are rich in calcium carbonate, making the floors of the pools as soft as cotton. Actually, in Turkey, it's known as the Cotton Castle. It's not just another thermal spring, it's a geological marvel. These mineral-rich waters are naturally heated to 36 Celsius. From ancient times to modern days, people from around the world have come to Pamukkale for its healing and therapeutic effects. If the mineral-rich water will heal your body, then the idyllic vistas will heal your soul. White infinity ponds, clear blue water, and the magnificent ruins of Hierapolis will all make your experience in Pamukkale magical. Nearby is Laodicea, the antique city of extravagance and wealth, and home to one of the seven churches of Asia mentioned in the book of Revelation. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Pamukkale. Ephesus had the largest amphitheater in the ancient world? I am going to take you time traveling. Today, we're going to Ephesus. Ephesus was the second largest city in the Roman Empire with over 250,000 people in the first century BC. Ranking only behind Rome, it was the second largest city in the world. And as the legend goes, Ephesus was built where a fish met a boar, meaning it was a harbor city built on fertile land. And this giant city was built only with marble. Although Ephesus is not inhabited, it's still alive. Imagine living 2,000 years ago. Do you enjoy reading books? No problem. 
the third largest library in the world is here in Ephesus. This is your local pharmacy where you would buy your medicine. Did you notice the pharmacy sign? If you wish, you can even pray to the goddess Nike for victory in your next challenge. And in case you need to, you can use the state-of-the-art public toilets side-by-side side with no partition while discussing politics with the city's elite. With the seating capacity of over 24,000 people, you can watch an unforgettable performance at the world-famous Amphitheater of Ephesus. But don't expect any comfy chairs. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Ephesus. Today, I am going to take you on a mythical journey. We're visiting Troy. As the legend goes, the ancient city of Troy was besieged for 10 years without success. Finally, the city was captured thanks to the warriors hidden in a huge wooden horse. Homer made Troy immortal, and Brad Pitt made it popular. Can you imagine the thousands of heroes that once fought on this battlefield? Troy is not just a historical site, it's a mythical one as well. While the horse is world famous, the real deal in Troy is the ruins. Over the last 5,000 years, the ancient city was destroyed and rebuilt. Not once, not twice, but nine times. So what about the horse in the movie? Well, that's in Turkey too. A generous gift from Warner Brothers. And you can find it right here in the city center. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Troy. Did you know Turkish cuisine is one of the top 10 cuisines in the world? Today, I'm going to take you on a gastronomic journey. Turkey sits on a historical trade route as it was a critical stop on the Silk Road. For caravans heading both east and west, Turkey was a gateway. That's why Turkish cuisine became the melting pot of many cuisines. In Turkish culinary tradition, you can find traces of dozens of cuisines from Central Asia all the way to Europe. Güzel mi? Nasıl? Güzel, güzel. Güzel. But Turkish cuisine is more than fusion. It is also refinement. And a key ingredient is olive oil. Especially during the Ottoman reign, Hundreds of local dishes were refined in the Sultan's kitchen, and one of the greatest cuisines in the world was born. And that one, the green beans, uh -huh. that one, the goulash, is the beef meat with tomato sauce yeah. and the plain rice. Plain rice. And... And what? Appetizers. That's the meze, right? The variety of Turkish cuisine is absolutely impressive. 
From soups to mezes, meat dishes, vegetarian dishes, pastries to desserts, there's a heavenly delicacy for every gusto. What's more, historical culinary traditions of blending and refining are still alive today. Modern Turkish cuisine is highly regarded by experts. No wonder Istanbul has one of the most sophisticated culinary scenes in the world. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Turkish cuisine.